Hey, my Fantasy League users. This is a quick guide for using the Playoff Computer app with MFL leagues, specifically those things that are a little bit non-standard due to the immense customization abilities of the MFL platform. Note, I am by no means an MFL expert. If someone notices something I say or show that is incorrect, please let me know. First oddity, when importing in My Fantasy League, since the app does not require logging into your MFL account, the league setting titled Prevent Non-League Members Access to League Reports must be set to No. That setting is found in the League Setup page under the Appearance Setup group and in the Reports and Security settings. I believe the default is no, and for the app to get the data, it needs to be that. Next tidbit, and I just learned this myself recently, the API that the app uses to get data from MFL only provides data that is showing in the league standings report. This is most relevant for tiebreaker info. So if you or your commissioner have altered the setup to not show some info that may be relevant in the league standings page, the app will not be able to get that info. For example, if this league used all play as a tiebreaker, but it is not shown in the league standings report, the app cannot get the all play records. If something is missing that the app needs to properly analyze your league, go to the standing setup page, click on the select standings columns box, and click on the appropriate tiebreaker info. In this case, I'll play win loss tie record is not checked. Okay, those were the difficult ones. The rest is easy. The MFL URL prefix is those two numbers after www shown in the league's URL. The league ID is of course the five or however many digit number assigned to the league. The year should default to the current year. If it's January and your league is still playing and it defaults to that next year, just set it as appropriate. Otherwise, if you just want to test the app during the offseason, you can set it for last year. The data won't match perfectly since the season is already over, but it's still usable for testing. The current week will be the upcoming unplayed week, and the last week of the season refers to the last week of the regular season, so like 14 is the new normal. Lastly, on this page, I know many MFL leagues use NFL team names and such. If your league does that or similar and has standardized abbreviations like the NFL does that are easy to identify teams with, using the abbreviations instead of names can make for a cleaner display and a cleaner path to clinch report. Once the MFL League is imported, the tiebreakers used by the league should be automatically brought into the app as well. Since MFL uses a best in division method for determining wildcard spots in multi division leagues, the wildcard tiebreaker listing might look a little strange. Check out the website for way too much information on that. Just a couple notes for MFL users on the analysis options. Since MFL allows multi-conference leagues, if your league is such, make sure to choose one of the conferences as shown. Also, the number of wildcard spots will not be automatically detected during the import process, so it may need to be manually selected. And that number will be the number of wildcard spots per conference if the league is multi-conference. 
Otherwise, the other options and processes are fully described on the website. That's it for now. Enjoy your day, and may the draft gods be with you.